Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create your very own gaming room in Blender just like this. Super easy, super simple. Let's get into it. So here I'm in Blender. I'm using version 3.3.1. Got my screencast keys in the bottom left corner. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, default cube, press X, delete. Then we're gonna do shift A, mesh, plane. Then S to scale, you can do four. And boom, click, and now we got our little base. So now we can tap into edit mode, click on the edge select tool, select these two top corners, E, Z, I'll do five. You want your walls to be higher, go for it. And then we can press A to select all of them. Option E, extrude face along normals, and then just drag it to your desired uh, wall width. And if you notice, if you go a little farther, the uh, corner of this bottom right is it perfect. So you can just press S and boom, there we go. Look at this, perfect. Okay, so tap back into object mode. Now we have our base. So now let's go ahead and start designing our room. So start off with the basics. Let's do shift A, mesh, cube, GZ1 and let's press number three. So this is essentially the side view. And then we can do shift Z to see the outline. G, X, actually G, Y, my bad. Cause we're on the green line, boom, just like this. And then we can press one and we do G, X, move it all the way over here and shift Z back out. So now we have this little desk draw I'm gonna make. So right now, if you don't like the scale of it, we can do S, X to make it a little thinner and then we can do S, Y to make it a little bit more sturdy like this. So in terms of a drawer desk thing, we can do probably SZ, scale it down a little bit more, and that's fine for me. And then we can just press one, shift Z, G, and then just move it into the corner right above here. Now you could snap, try snapping it with a face tool, but again, it's super basic design, doesn't really matter if it's like too close or too uh, like barely sticking in, but we could if you wanted to. And then we'll do G, Y, move it like right there. And now I'm going to edit it first and then we're gonna make a mirror to where it will be on the other side. So tap, or we can do forward slash, brings us inside of it. Tap in edit mode, command R, control R, add a loop cut, press two, click, escape, go to face select, click and drag, highlight these, press I. And if you press I, it's gonna do every one. So you have to do I again. So basically double I. And try to make it like super, super thin. And then what you could do is just E to shoot it out just like that. And now we got this little basic piece right here. And if we tap back in object mode and make sure, go back to item, I want to command A or control A and apply all transforms first. So now when I go back into edit mode, I can do command B and just bevel them. And if you wanna make it more rounded, you can use a scrolling wheel or just scroll up on like a laptop. And I think like maybe like right there, I'll keep it, I'll probably do like one more. And keep it like that. And it's fine for me like this way. And then right click, or not right click, tab back out to object mode. Then right click, shade smooth, go to this little green triangle normals auto smooth boom okay and now we can go ahead and press one see how it looks here and three i can go and just shift right click right in the middle shift a mesh cube scale this bad boy down like right there scale it on the y like this and we go back to one scale on the x just like that and again you can just like you know make your knobs or whatever your drawer different but now I can just do um, shift no, I actually do option D or alt D GZ that way everything is linked and then option D again GZ make sure we're on Z axis boom and now what I want to do is click here let's just shift click all of these guys then click here and then basically First off, let's do this. Let's go back to our materials so we can see it. Let's click on this one, color it first, 
and I'll just make this like a gray. It doesn't matter as long as you have something added and this one new and then just keep it like that. Because now I'm going to go click these by holding shift click and then click this one and then control J or command J. That way it's just like one piece and how to deal with it. And if you do ever want to go inside of this, you just go and check out the cube and you have, um, well technically you see if I go to edit mode, now you can just go here and you can just hit that and plus sign it. And now you can see the two different materials that are added in here. But we got that basic. So now I can just technically go here and edit this to whatever I like. That way I don't have to sit there and worry about that. Now, if you make it more complex design, obviously you can fix that, but let's go here, modifier tab, add modifier, mirror, click, boom, on the Y axis, take off the X, and now look at this, press one, three, how's it looking? Looks pretty even to me. And then let's go ahead and just save this really quick. So save as and then name it file, whatever you want. Once you've saved it, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's do shift A, mesh, cube, G, Z, S, Z, scale it down to some sort of table. And let's do S, Y, bring it, actually no, S, X, my bad, S, X. This, let's go to seven, top view. Go back to our, let's see, solid view, let's go and drag it over here, S, Y now. Actually, we can do S4 on the Y. There we go. So that way it's essentially almost the same size as the, um, the room and then G, Y, move it up here. And then press three. Let's see, yeah, G, yeah, look, G, Y a little bit over. Yeah, like right there. Then G, Z, just drag it right on the top. Let's zoom in, Shift Z, you can see exactly. G, Z, and just like right where it's touching on top, Shift Z back. And now we got a little super long desk. All right, so now, go back into materials. Let's just start adding in materials now, so that way we can always uh, change it up later. This one's actually gonna be the same as this. So let's, let me just name this one as like the white material here. And then this one will just be like a dark gray. And now we can go ahead and work on the computer. So first off, let's shift right click here, shift A, mesh. And I just did a cube. And basically I made this one very, very basic, but G, Z, scale it on the X, just like that. Scale on the Z, just like this. Four slash so I can see it better. Scale on the X again, like that. And then, again, depending, well, first off, we had to do Command A or Control A to add transforms, then tab and edit mode. And if I were to select all of these edges right here, these corner pieces, Shift click them here, 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 and here. Control B or Command B. And then add some loop cuts. And again, if you want like that little, you know, curvature to your little screen, feel free to do it like that. Right click shade smooth. Go here, auto smooth. Tab into edit mode. Face select, like here. I didn't set. Drag it in however thick you want your screen to be. Eat and shoot it inwards slightly. Boom, now you got a computer screen. And now we can tap back into the slash. GZ, bring it down. And then we just made the base, made it very basic. But uh, cube, just scale it in. And let's see, GZ. I'll make this separate, so let's just go like here. Let's see, scale X, thin, scale Z, scale Y. And then basically, you can just tap into edit, face select, E to extrude, scale it out. And then just E, Z, double Z, make sure, actually just normal E would be fine. Except if you get off the axis, just make sure you have it back on the Z. And then we got a little base. So now we just go here and just adjust it accordingly. So I'll scale it down a little bit more. Probably scale it on the X thinner. And let's see how this looks. So this screen, GZ is move it up. And for the most part, let's see, let's see what three, how that looks. Yes, yeah, very basic. 
computer screen, but now we can color this in so you can see the difference. New, just make it like black. Let's go here. Black, but I wanna be like a little bit grayish. And then here, copy that color. And then we can tap into edit mode, assign a new color, and we'll do new assign. Because right now we're, we're gonna fix that later. Don't worry about that. And for the walls, let's make them black as well. Well, let's make the different color because um, call this like the walls because we can always adjust this later. Save it real quick. And now a little trick. Again, you could get there fancy, but just for uh, time's sake, I just went ahead and basically I shift D, G, and then Y and moved it like right here. And let's do G a little more and then I rotated it so I did R Z actually first off we need to change the um, origin to a geometry R Z like this and then seven you could also put it right there but I'll just keep it simple for now and let's move it like actually R Z like probably like right there GX here and then I just did a mirror modifier just like this where is it at boom bam Boom, go on the Y, take off the X, and then you got two screens like that. And if you go on up fancy, obviously you can add in like the back pieces, but I mean, since for this tutorial sake, you can't even see it, I didn't think it's too important. And then technically, I can go here, 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 G, X, move it back some, just like that. And then let's go ahead and add in additional things that you might want in your room. So, first off, let's go and add in our bed and then I'm gonna show you how to add in like poster artwork and then the rest of the stuff will be additional items but um, let's do shift a mesh let's go to cube actually my bad let's do shift s cursor or origin then shift a mesh cube and now gz1 go to 7 view put my bed like right over here so here scale y bring it up Scale X, bring it over. GY up like this. Scale Z, just like this. And again, depending on your bed frame, obviously everyone has different tastes. What I'm gonna show you is a basic method for like the blanket and then everything else you get pretty much freestyle. So let's just do, yeah, let's just do the bed uh, mattress first because if you mess up the mattress, then you know, your bed might look different. So yeah, I'll keep it like that. And then press zero to see the scale. Let's go ahead and move the camera to uh, orthographic, and then let's just change this view. Let's do, let's see, let's go back zero. Yeah, let's keep it probably like right there, and I just have to like zoom out a little bit. Let's see, not down. Yeah, let's just use the arrows easier. And now we can do probably farther out. A little bit, I go a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So now this one I'll probably go back down. So this is the view we got currently, and now we can see where I can put my bed. So I'll go seven. Get this camera out. G probably like right about, yeah, right about here. And then let's press three. G Z. And actually we're gonna make a bed frame. So don't even worry about that. So let's do the bed frame first. So tab, Command R, Control R, click right here. Very basic, and boom, easy. Oh, yeah, easy. Make sure it's straight, and put it like that. If you want to change that, you can do like G and Y to move it, um, you know, backwards. I'll keep mine straight for now, and it'll be like the bed frame. And we could try the snapping tool. Let me show you how it works. Basically, go like this, G, and now you can see it's just like right on the face. But make sure if you do use it, that you make sure you select it out afterwards. It's gonna like break your. <laughs> Your design you'll be freaking out but we're fine here and from this view bed might need some sizing so I'll put it like yeah right there go back tap out zero gx and let's see gy yep there we go okay so now we can do let's just add another uh, cube let's see let's see uh scale seven move this camera real quick let me hide that on my view Move it like right here and then scale it Y first and scale X a little bit. 
and I don't want to make it the same size as the actual um, frame. I want to have like some sort of like that edge piece to it. So let's see here, and we can probably do G Y move it until it touches. Scale Y like like that G Y. And just keep some basic like this. And then we get fancy, we can actually go tap. Well, actually, no. Command A, Control A first. Apply the transforms. Tab edit mode. And then uh, Command B. And just add some bevels. Now, you could go on the edge loose, but no one's really, you're not really going to see the bed matches anyways. So, because the blank is going to be covered, so I just right click, shade smooth. A little curve to it. And then, if you wanted to make this like a big bed, you can just do Shift D, G, Z. Double mattress like that. And then we can do shift right click on this bed part, shift A, mesh, plane, seven, scale X out like this, scale Y, like about here, scale up a little bit more, and then G, Z. And now we get to do right click, or tab end mode, right click, then subdivide it. Go here before you click anything, let's do like, um, 25 maybe tap out then you can do uh where's the physics properties right here cloth space boom it falls through so now we know that's on and then what we can do is click on this top mattress collision and now save your work first because if your computer is not that fast it might lag like crazy and your thing just breaks and you're gonna cry because you lost all your work so now let's just go here Boom, there we go. So I do my effect, right click, shade smooth. I have my bed on. Right click on this, the actual blanket. Shade smooth, and that's what it looks like right now. So now if you wanted to add thickness, I mean you could. But first off, I wanna add in some pillows. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, let's go, click out. And let's just do Shift A, Mesh Cube, Scale Z, Scale Y, Scale Z, Scale X, and basically we're just gonna make like some sort of pillow shift z move it like right here on the mattress scale on the x scale on the y g yeah like right yeah probably right there and scale z and let's see three three view gz up right there on top scale z down gz down four slash shift z and let's do, first off, Command A, all transforms, and then right click here, subdivide it, and let's just keep it basic. And then we can add in a cloth, add in our pressure, let's do like three, and let me just see. So it looks like this. Now again, there's nothing crazy, it's too like bulky, you can you know change up your shape that you use, but I'll just right click, shade smooth, go here, auto normals, modifier tab, subdivision surface at like two and now we have like you know super pillow <laughs> and then basically apply these now because um first off let me apply that let's see command z first off let's apply this cloth and then apply there we go yes the order you do it is important and now i got this pillow super chunky pillow Scale it Z down even. Actually, why is the origin not here? Object set origin to geometry. Scale Z there. G Z bring it down a little bit. Yeah, even more. And then shift left arrow. And let's see. So right now it's going through. So first off, let's let's add the Meyer modifier onto this pillow right here. Click on our little bed. But uh, let's see. It should be why is it tripping? Must have the distance off. Hold on. Let's do shift back. Click here. Let me see here. Where's the origin of this? Oh, that's why. Objects at origin to geometry. So now the bed's right here. So now if I click on this pillow again, exit off this mirror modifier. Mirror click on the bed now. There we go. Okay. And then we could do like GX, move it in a little bit, you know. Make it a little friendly. S, X, maybe even. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll just apply this. I don't need to edit it again. And I want to add a physics property to this bed by doing collision. 
So now with the blanket falls. Look at that. Look at that. Bruh. Alright, so now save it. Can't even see what's going on. So let's do this. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make the blanket a different color. Because I can't I can't even it's hard to tell what like right now. Let's do like a blue right now. And so far that's what it looks like. Everything looks fine. Nice, noise, noise. And I mean you could go shift left air back tab, edit, extrude it up, and then basically, you know, have it a little bit thicker. It's up to you. And if you see like like some pieces right now, it's going through is because you have to add a collision to here too. Collision. Let's just add collision to all of these just in case, you know. Just in case, because technically, you know, it's supposed to be physics like that. This is back arrow. And sometimes the cloth is annoying, but you know, depending on your setup. And then we can go here to uh, subdivision surface. And let's just add like two. Actually, no. I ran on the wrong one. Command Z, Command Z that first. Should be on the blanket. Make sure you're clicking on the right option. Subdivision so surface, there, get rid of some of those like little kinks. And uh, for the most part, looks solid to me. I'll keep it here. And then we just apply, boom, command air control right here, just like that too. And now we can hit play. We don't have any more worries about the bed being crazy. And there we go, we got a basic little bed. So I'll say that on the click. And I can pretty much use that concept to make almost literally anything you'd like in terms of your actual design. And now let's start working on some other options that you might want to have. So first off, right click, shift A, and then let's do a plane or RX 90, scale X like this, tab E, extrude it out, and then go into face select here, inset it, and then E to extrude it out or backwards. Hold on, let me see if I zoom in. I can't even see, bro. Let me see. Okay, uh, E. There we go. So now I can color this thing. Let's do. What is that using? Oh, yeah, black here. Face select plus. No, no, no. Only one. Ah, oh, come on, bro. No, oh, it's okay. It'll be fine. And I, now I can go object. I delete this. Okay. Save. And then pretty much these will be like the accessory items. And then this, you can pretty much do this and complete the rest of the designs with. And basically, what you can do is, I'll show you this first. So get any image you want. So find an image you need. And then this is how it works, right? So you click here and you go to base color and you click on image texture. And now if you were to select any image, let me just add some in really quick so you guys can see what's going on. So I went ahead and tried to add an image and with the current setup I have in my version, this pink thing comes up. And there's ways to get around this, but it's the easiest, easiest route I have a video to is basically to shift A, image reference, and then upload your image as a reference to your design. So I'll just do it real quick. So now we have my image just like this, and it doesn't really matter where the or origin is because we're gonna hide it anyway. So go here. I'll just say image one, make sure you name because if you add a bunch, it's gonna be annoying. And then just hit the I and then the render. Not important, doesn't matter, you don't have to see it ever again. And now we can go back to our image. Instead of selecting the one that I imported by default, like clicking through open, I add the actual image we just added. And now we can see, look, look at this beauty. It's showing, and sometimes if your, your setup is like not right, so let's go here to like this one. Same, we'll do it again, base color, image texture. And now since it's already uploaded, I'll just keep it like this. Now you can see, okay, here's good issue. So now we can bring it over, go here to the UV editor, and tap into edit mode. And first off, A select all, right click, you unwrap it, and then we can select this GX and just move it accordingly. So now we notice that it's looks like it's not proper. Let me rotate this 180 and see how that looks. Actually, no, A select all of them, rotate 180, rotate 90. Actually, yeah. Rotate nine zero, and let's see what origin. Yeah, so this one looks. There you go. This is the correct origin that I want. So now, I just basically scale it up till I get to the edge. Let's go like right here, and let's just move this GX like this, and down here select them G uh, Z like that. So now, 
we got our image that I wanted to add to my screen exactly where I wanted it to be. So then I can tab here, A select all, and basically do the exact same thing. Because if I were to go here and scale it up, you can see clearly it's not there. So first off, right click, unwrap, R90, looks like, yep. And again, these are, I'm going to use the same image for the tutorial sake, but obviously you switch these out with another image you want. And let's just, hold up, here, GX, here, GX, here, and then GZ. Come on, here we go, GZ. So again, I mean, you can change, obviously, let me keep them for now, but uh, you can keep them like this, and then if you're like, I don't like this, let's do this. Let's add another image, just so I can show you. Shift A, and first I'll go back to object mode, then Shift A, image reference, and I'll add an image again. So here, I added another uh, image, so let me just go here and click on the eye and the camera, and then I'll go here, and I will replace this with this image. And now you can see, first off, it's linked. So let me do Command Z. So the way to get out of this is first, you see this X right here? Click it. Now it's separate. Now I can do new base color, image texture, plus change a new image. And then if you already unwrapped it, it would be fine. If not, you'd have to go back again. Tab into edit mode. A and select all of it. Oh yeah, select the face that you want to unwrap and do all that stuff again, but we already did it. And then if you're like, hey, I want this screen to be different, just go here, apply the mirror modifier, tab here, click on this face, go to materials, and then exit out this one, and then basically go and hit new. Well, actually, no, not exit, my bad. Hit plus, new, assign here, and then you can go here and add whatever else you want to here. I'll just keep it like as a color just for the sake of um, tutorial, just to show you like how you can change out the screens. And then that's pretty much how we have that created right there. And then if we were to go in and add in additional details, such as keyboards, mouses, screens, that all works the same way. Also, you can do it for the, um, like if I go mesh, plane, tap, edit, E, Z, like this, tap back in, scale, X, scale, Y, G, Y, like this. I can do the same exact thing where I can first off add a color like let's just do black again and then I can tap in face select plus new new color image texture and let's do like the Minecraft one again and assign it and now we got like a little mat so you can change up any design you want there as well and then pretty much all the other accessories you can go ahead and add in for this tutorial, I kept it very simple because that stuff can take quite a very long time to make. But then basically, once you have decided to create everything that you wanted, definitely go ahead and add more stuff to your screen, add more images. And I'll end up making uh, separate videos for each individual piece in the actual uh, design you saw in the beginning of this video. That way you can go ahead and make your own custom uh, room, but each of those pieces can take upwards of literally 30 minutes per piece, so it's totally gonna be like you know four or five hours. So keep it simple. I showed you all the necessary base stuff you can get, and now we can just add in some lighting. So let's go to the rendered view, Shift A. First, here let's do Shift S, cursor or origin, Shift A, light area, G Z, up, scale it, S. Let's add like a thousand, and let's do. First of all, let's do S or Shift A mesh plane, scale it out, GZ, GZ down until you know whatever desired height you want it, like that, and then uh, basically let's color this in real quick. So let's just do like a dark black here too. Turn off the roughness. I don't want it to be too much light, and then here, let's see, click on my light. Where's my light? Trying to click on him right here. Okay, there he is. And let's see, one view, GZ, scale in a little bit more. This is more concentrated. And then, cool little trick is um, go to seven. That I just did. Shift A, light point G, move it like right outside of the thing. Let's do like two thousand, and make it like a color, whatever color you want. So now if I press zero, GZ, move it up. And right now it's hard to see, but um, 
Let's do seven again. Shift D here. Change this to like a whatever color you want, and then Shift D again here. Change this to whatever color you want here. And then basically, if we go in the cycle, it's gonna be easier to see our lighting. And now we can add in a more light too. We can do Shift A, uh, light sun. Add in a sun too. Put like a, a two maybe. Even, let's do seven, move it over, zero, like this. And then again, depending on your design, you can add more lights, like here, you can change this up to even 3,000 or 4,000. And then basically, once you have all your lights and angles set up, then you can pretty much go here and then go to render cycles, let's keep view for 128. You can do probably 256 or 512, should be fine for this. But if you do add a bunch of lights, definitely go up way more samples depending on your um, design. And then pretty much, where's it at? Render, go here, name your file name, PNG, RGB, make sure you have it on metadata. Let's see, you know, color management and post-processing. Yeah, well, yeah, for here, yeah, image would be fine. For the video though, you definitely have to change it up for like the uh, MP4s. But then pretty much go here, render, render image. And that's how you make your design. So go ahead and add, feel free to add in the customizations. Well, I'll show you again in another tutorial, so make sure you subscribe to see those, such as keyboards, the chairs, and other additional items like that. But those do take quite a bit to make, so I'll include a separate video. That way you can make your own custom design from there. But like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.